what is stopping you, how to identify it, and number two, more importantly, how to fix it. Stay tuned. What's up, everybody? This is BC. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over a very important topic. Many of you come to me with lack of drive, focus, motivation, um, discipline, commitment, a bunch of stuff, okay? And you're wondering, some of you genuinely do not know what's stopping you, and I want to cover it in this video a little bit, right? Just to help you out and give you an idea of some things you can do to get you into this mode. Because many of you look at me just every day on my shit, and you're wondering, how can you do it? Is it possible? What's going on? Is it some magic secret? And it's really not. The first thing you need to do is take 100% responsibility for you, how you feel, your life, and everything in it, period. Let that sink in for a second. 100% responsibility. I don't care who you are or where you're from. The moment you start pointing the finger and blaming shit, society, people, your mom, your dad, whoever, you fucked up and you're gonna suffer because of it. You have to take responsibility. Now, some of us were dealt worse cards than others. So be it. You accept it. You don't sit there and bitch and complain. Well, blah, 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 this and that. My fucking family's from a third world country. Okay? So, as much as people can come in the comment section and say, well, you don't understand this and this, look, everybody has a fucking excuse. Get over it. Period. Because we have plenty of stories, success stories, of people who have come from all walks of life. Every background and have actually been successful and made it. So you have no excuse. So now's the moment to take 100% responsibility from this moment forward, okay? That's where it starts. Now, many of you in the next step, because of the way we were brought up and how society is, you have so much shit embedded deeply into your subconscious mind, you're not even aware of what's going on. And you're operating now with a lot of subconscious, right, habits, that you don't see anymore because you haven't brought them to your awareness. When's the last time any of you watching this video? And I want you to leave a comment below. If you haven't done it, or if you've done it, or if you're gonna do it, leave a comment. You've sat down and analyzed and wrote on paper, what do I believe about XYZ? What are my thoughts and beliefs and philosophies on money, relationships, personal growth, success? And you actually put pen to the paper. Have any of you actually done that? My guess is 99% of people know, or if you did, it was some exercise you did at school or with other people and you kind of half-assed it, just like people do at the end of the year. Oh, I'm gonna set my goals for next year. They make some bullshit goals in the moment with people when they're hyped up, then they file it away in their fucking uh, desk and they never look at it again. So when's the last time you did that? See, that tells me and it shows. Now, if you didn't know about that, that's fine. You're learning now, cool. But many people walk around talking the talk and talking shit and hyping themselves up. Oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna be badass. And they're not doing any of this shit. Now, if you're one of my students, my paying students, you've already learned about this and much more. But if this is your first time hearing it, this is a wake-up call. Because this is the self-analysis that you need to do. This is the me time, we can call it, where you're alone, you're with yourself and your thoughts, and you put pen to paper, and you figure this shit out. Because many of you are walking conflicts. You have two ways of thinking about something in your mind and in your being, and then you wonder why you can't do shit or get shit done and you feel like something's stopping you. Because you're, you're stopping you, you. It's not someone else. Because again, go back to the beginning. You have to take responsibility. So if we were given bullshit programming when we were kids and in school, and now you want to be an entrepreneur, but your mind <clears throat> has two thoughts. Entrepreneur, nine to fiver. You need to ask yourself, which one is mine? Which idea is mine? And which one was given to me by somebody else? That's the first step. You see, now we can at least identify and bring to your awareness, shit, I have two conflicting ideas in my mind and I can't do what I wanna do. You see, now, now, now we've stumbled across something. Now you're taking responsibility and what are we doing? Your brain is like a computer. You need to start reprogramming it and doing things in order to better it and put the proper programming in. You need to delete, uninstall, like you do on the computer, put in the new CD, which is my information or whatever it is that you're doing, and then start uploading and installing some new shit that's gonna move you forward. Because again, you're responsible. This, if you're not getting the results that you want and you're not where you wanna be, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, it's on you. And your shit here is off. Your programming is off. You're missing something. You're missing something and you need to admit it and you need to do, this is the next step, whatever the fuck it takes to get it. 
And that needs to be your mission above all else. Seriously. It's not, I'm going to go, you know, watch a couple of YouTube videos that we can get motivated. No, 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 no. That shit needs to become your duty where you leave no stone unturned and you do again, whatever it takes to find that person, that thing, whatever it is to help you get that and achieve it. When you get that level of commitment with personal growth, your success and what it is that you're doing, you're going to get it. <clears throat> the issue is everybody talks at level a thousand and acts and performs at level one. That's the difference. How many people do we see in our circles and that I see online talking shit, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, blah, blah, blah. Then when you look at their level of dedication, it's shit. It's shit. I want to be the best. Okay, cool. This, this is a good example, right? Because uh, we still have this um, conflict where people literally want everything for free. I mean, fuck, people come on my YouTube videos and bitch and complain. Oh, there's an ad, there's this. Motherfucker, it's free. What the fuck are you crying about? Seriously. Right? That in itself tells me people's minds are completely fucked up. That would be like going to the public library back in the day and then bitching and complaining. Right? And what was a library pass back in the day? Like five bucks to go to the library and like get as many books as you want? Or shit, it wasn't even five bucks. It was like free. I remember because I would go to the library when I was a kid. I didn't want to because I was doing school projects, but shit. That'd be like me going there and then just complaining the whole time. Ah, this is bullshit. You guys need more books. But it's like, dude, you don't like it. Get out. That's what they would tell me if I did that. You get what I'm saying? So now somebody comes, it's, it's like uh, back in martial arts, right? The kid who has the sensei, who's his mentor, that kid isn't getting that shit for free. He's paying to be a part of the fucking dojo or the or whatever uh, style of martial art is. His parents or him are paying to be a part of it. So he's paying for the master's time. Now the master might take liking to him and give him more time, but he's still paying to be a part of it, of that brotherhood or whatever it is that you want to call it, depending on where you're looking. You see? So you need to find your sensei, your brotherhood, whatever it is, and you go all in. Like I just said, you need to dedicate yourself to this shit. Otherwise, you are going to continue to stop you in perpetuity forever. You're literally sentencing yourselves to jail in your own mind, a mental fucking prison, and you're refusing to break out of it. Because again, you want to hype yourself up and talk a lot, but you don't want to do shit. And it pisses me off because I'm, I'm literally tired of getting the messages of I'm committed, I want to be the best student, okay, go to the seminar, do this, and then I'll, basically, they don't say it in these words, but it's I want everything for free, I want everything given to me. It's like, dude, okay, then it's not going to happen for you. And then when I say that, everybody gets pissed off and I'm the asshole. Stupid, man. It's stupid. Track down these people, like myself. I'm willingly admitting how much I've spent and time I've dedicated doing this shit. It's not just money, but it's also your time and your dedication. Fuck. Seriously, it's not, oh, you know, I'm researching like the people say, oh, I'm researching about this career. No, you're not. You're, you're putting in one hour a week looking something up and that's your excuse to bullshit the rest of the fucking week. Come on, dude, let's be real. All this shit, all these smoke screens and, and, and fucking clouds that we put up, it's bullshit. You're stopping you. The path is clear. Remember, for those of you who don't know, who might be newer, when I got into real estate, I didn't have the fucking money. I still signed up for a real estate coach that I paid $1,000 a month for, okay? No excuses. I pulled out a credit card, which probably isn't the best option, but I said, you know what? By the time I need to make the, the second or third payment, I'm going to have closed the fucking deal and I'm going to be able to do it. And guess what happened? I did it. But when you look at what I did, my actions every day, I was living, breathing, eating, my business and real estate 24 fucking seven, not putting in three hours of work and complaining. Oh, I just want free shit on YouTube and this and that. No, no, no. My level of dedication, because I told myself I want that. When he looked at my actions, you're like, that makes sense that he would be going after that. Look at what he's doing. He's working fucking 14, 15 hours a day. He's reading, he's doing this. He's committed to his shit. So I wasn't just talk. I was delivering. Where are you at in that process? Because when you take analysis of that, you'll see very quickly it's you stopping you. But we've gotten so deluded now and we've bought our own bullshit that these stories that we make up or fingers that we point to other people and blame, we fooled ourselves into thinking it's someone else or some outside circumstances stopping us when it's really just us. And that's bullshit. So if you never take that shift, like I said in the beginning, to take 100% responsibility for you and your life, then you're never going to be granted shit and let me be the one to tell you because I see manifestations of it constantly every single day. People bitching, complaining, pointing the finger. I mean, shit, with social media, it's made the world small. You see it all the time. But what have those people achieved? Nothing. Nothing. 
So grab the bull by the horns, which is you and your life and your beliefs and your philosophies and start changing shit now. It's up to you and only you. You can have me and a bunch of other people in your corner cheering you on and giving you this good ass information and messages on a daily basis. But if you don't flip that switch and you don't decide to do it now, forget it. It's not going to happen. And it's going to be challenging and it's going to be tough because you're literally morphing from an old you to a new you, which is uncomfortable. And you're always going to want to digress back to your old habits. It doesn't matter. You need to say, fuck it. I'm willing to be uncomfortable. I'm willing to push it to the next level. It's not going to be easy, but I got to do it now. Otherwise, it's never going to happen. Just like if you commit from watching this video, and I want you to leave a comment. If you commit to do something, if you don't do what you committed here, even the first step within the first 24 hours, you're not going to do it. You won't. Straight up. So don't just do it to say it and be cool. Do it if you're fucking serious. Please. Because that's exactly what you need. And this is why I continue to do these videos for free almost daily on YouTube that are 10 or 15 minutes long to give you this because this is exactly what people need. Okay? I'll end it here. I don't want to go off on a rant too long. Supreme being my podcast. Make sure you check it out. It's in the description and on every major podcast platform. And number two, if you really are serious, get on my fucking modern success program. It will change your life as it continues to change hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people's lives who are in my program. Okay? Believe me, you want to get on it. Okay? Other than that, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell icon so you can be notified when all the new videos come out. Drop a like, Team BC.